No, not there. Where are they? Uh, oh, there they are <gasps> on the beanbag. Brilliant, Alex. But now it's time to put the lights back up because it's time for a lovely bedtime story. Enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow. CBB's Bedtime Story. I wonder what it would be this one. No, oh, it's a bit small. How about this one? Yeah, it's a bit wooden. I'm not sure it looks quite... Oh, hello. Look, I'm Terry, and I just can't decide which of these chairs I'd like to sit on for tonight's bedtime story. If you were me, which one would you choose? Yeah, I'd go for this soft and comfortable looking one too. <laughs> oh, well, that's better. Now, I can tell you a story all about a bear who had to choose a new chair. It's called A Chair for Baby Bear. When are you going to mend my chair, Dad? asked Baby Bear. Soon, Baby Bear, said Father Bear. You said that yesterday, said Baby Bear, and the day before, and the day before that. He's right, dear, said Mother Bear. That naughty Goldilocks broke Baby Bear's chair a very long time ago. Who oh, will all right, said Father Bear. I think we'd better look for a new chair in Bear Town. Hooray, cheered Baby Bear. Can we go now? The three bears set off through the woods. Baby Bear played in the leaves. Look at me, he shouted. I'm Robin Hood. Don't get muddy, said Father Bear. Can I have a Robin Hood chair? Begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. The three bears came to a stream. Look at me, cried Baby Bear. I'm a pirate. Be careful, said Father Bear. You'll get wet. Can I have a pirate chair? begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. All the way to Bear Town, Baby Bear thought and thought about the kind of chair he wanted. When they reached the chair shop, he ran round and round in the revolving doors. Stop that at once, cried Father Bear. You'll make yourself sick. In the shop, there were lots and lots and lots of chairs. There was a Robin Hood chair, but it was much too scratchy. There was a pirate chair. Well, it was much too scary. There was a king's chair, but it was much too grand. The cushion was so big and soft that when Baby Bear sat on it, he sank. Down, down, down. Don't you like any of them? asked Mother Bear. Yes, says Baby Bear, but none of them is, is quite right. Sorry, Baby Bear said Father Bear. Come on, we'd best be going home. Baby Bear was so disappointed. He was tired too. So Father Bear gave him a picky back ride all the way home. What's this? said Mother Bear as they reached the front door. There was a big parcel wrapped in brown paper sitting on the step. Baby Bear didn't feel tired anymore. He ripped off the paper, opened the box, and lifted out the most perfect little red bear chair. And with it was a note from Goldilocks. Dear Baby Bear, sorry I broke your chair. Love, Goldilocks. Baby Bear tried it out. Hooray! cried Baby Bear. It's not too scratchy, it's not too scary, and it's not too grand. In fact, it's just right. That story was called A Chair for Baby Bear. I'm so glad Baby Bear loved his new chair. When you find a chair that you love sitting in, it's very hard to get up. I like sitting in this chair. I could probably sit here all day. I could probably fall asleep here. So good night. <laughs> To say good night, to say sleep tight till the morning light. The time has come to say good night. It's the end of a lovely day.
We had so much fun today Tomorrow's just a dream away And now it's time to say goodnight At the end of a lovely day